do you do an image transfer? The kind of thing where you can take anything printed off of your inkjet printer and transfer it onto another surface? Like here, where I've taken a copy of a vintage photo, printed it out, and then transferred it onto this piece of vintage ledger? Well, I'm Carolyn Doobie, and I'm here how to show you how to do that using the transfer solution. Now, if you've never used this before, there are two things you're gonna need. One is the transfer film. That's gonna run through your inkjet printer that you'll put the image on. And then you'll also need to make some transfer solution because that's the thing that does the magic and releases the image onto your surface. To mix up the transfer solution, this is what you're gonna need. 91% isopropyl alcohol, the transfer concentrate from InkAid, and then a jar to mix it in. You're gonna start by adding four ounces of the 91% isopropyl alcohol. And it is important that it's the 91%. And you want to put the alcohol first into the jar because the order does make a difference here. It makes everything mix up a lot better. By the way, that little glass that I'm using is my little measuring device that has an ounce at a time in there. Once I've used something for this process, whether it's the jar, the measuring cup, or anything like that, it is no longer food safe. So please keep that in mind once you use this with your art supplies. It is just for art supplies. The next thing you need to add is one tablespoon of the transferase concentrate. This is the image transfer medium that's created by Inkade. Once you've got your tablespoon, then you add it to the alcohol. I like to keep the lids on the jars as much as possible because this is alcohol and it will evaporate. So now I'm just going to swirl it together until it mixes and you'll notice that it has a little bit of a cloudy look to it. That's normal. Now you need to let it sit for about four hours to allow everything to dissolve together and the cloudiness will go away, it'll become clear and it'll thicken up just a bit. And during that four hours, feel free to occasionally give it a gentle shake. The next thing you wanna get ready is your image that you're gonna transfer. You're gonna take one of the InkAid transfer sheets and put it through your inkjet printer with whatever image you want. Now, by the way, these pieces, they have a right side and a wrong side. One side of it has a coating on it that's part of what makes the transfer magic happen. And you want to make sure that you print on that side. So one side is very, very smooth. That's the wrong side. The other side, you can feel it has a little bit of a coating on it. That's the side that you want to make sure that you're printing on. And when you're printing with an inkjet printer, you may not know this, but there are actually two kinds of inkjet printers, dye ink and pigment ink in them. And this process works most effective and best with pigment inks for an inkjet printer. And how do you know if your ink is pigment or dye based? Well, that's where Google is handy. So what you do is look in your printer, look at that ink cartridge and see what number it is. What's the brand, what's the number, and then you head to Google. And you simply type in is and put the name of whatever your ink cartridge is in there, pigment ink, and then look at the results. And on the web, you can find out whether or not your ink is pigment or dye based. Now I've waited four hours for my transfer solution to become clear and it is ready to go. So let's do a transfer. Once I know where I want to put it, then I need to get the transfer solution onto my surface. I'm using a foam brush here. And what I want to do is put an even layer of the solution on the paper. I want to have enough on there that it can transfer, but not so much that it's a swimming pool. And after you do one or two of these, you get a feel for what is a lot or what is a little for transferring onto the surface that you're working with. When you place the image on, make sure that it is image side down. Basically the side that you've printed on, that's the part touching the transfer solution. And then gently press it down so that you've got good contact between the solution and the image. You can rub it gently with your fingers, or if you wanna use a brayer, very, very gently roll over it so you've got great contact. But I cannot stress this enough, do it gently. This is not something that requires a lot of force. Now comes the hardest part of the process for me, and that is waiting about two minutes before lifting up that transfer film. And the reason why it's so tough for me is I either get distracted or I just think more time has passed than it really has. So what I do is I set a timer for two minutes. That way I know when it's been about two minutes, then I know I'm ready to go lift up that transfer film. Well, it's been about two minutes, so now I'm ready to lift that film off. And as I'm doing it, I'm going to start at one corner and I'm going to pull slowly and gently. This is not a fast and furious kind of thing. It's just a gentle pull. And you may also think, wow, it looks kind of gooey. That's true. It is. While it's wet right now, it is a little bit gooey. 
but you give it a few minutes to dry and that disappears. You've just seen an image transfer done on paper, but guess what? This stuff works on all sorts of surfaces, wood, metal, plastic, glass, leather, fabric, so many things you can put it on, whole lot of possibilities with this transfer process. Now, if you'd like to know more about it, you can use the link down below to get to the Ink Aid website where you can find all of their products and more information about each of them. Thanks so much for joining me for today's play.